Welcome back to my bathroom. Today we have a sack full of junk. Really cool junk. I found why strolling the aisles of one of the most chaotic places, Walmart. We'll try all this stuff together and rate it one through 10. Before we get into this really high quality program, do your tithing. Subscribe, click the bells, buttons, whistles. Hair Lab Shampoo with squalling. Is this new? I don't know. This shampoo is $9. The gimmick is it's customizable shampoo. So you buy the shampoo according to your hair needs. This one is dry scalp. Not to brag, but I have dandruff. Then you buy your add-ins. We have a violet add-in and a moisture. These are $3 a piece. Oh, where did you get two? That smells like banana boat. You take the little sticker off and you put it on your bottle. Then you add it in the shampoo. It says you can, it says. Apologies, I have my flipper in. So the S's are sizzling. It says you can use up to three doses of whatever you want. Add the moisture. And you should have a nice purple shampoo. Wow, it works. These are short term, short term. These are short term reviews. I have no idea if this shampoo is gonna work. I feel like it's gonna work, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 10. That is a really smart idea. $6 for this Garnier Fructis Frizz Tamer. It's a mascara wand. It has some sort of just some sort, that's gonna get on my damn nerves. My own voice annoys me. It has some sort of gel on it where it tames the flyaways and it doesn't make it look wet, or does it? A frizz control, see if it holds the sideburns up. It's not a strong hold, so if you had textured or curly hair, I don't, I don't think that's gonna work. It's not like edge control. If you're a bald eagle like me, fine, thin hair, this is really nice. I'd give it a solid eight. I wish it was a stronger hold. That is getting on my nerves. My hair is getting on my nerves today. This is the new Garnier, Garnier Fructis, whatever, Fructis, Fructose Syrup. Do you see it? This is the system. I think they're $8 a piece. The gimmick is it's kind of like an Olaplex daily wash dupe. You start with this one, the Inner Fiber Repair Treatment. You put this on for five minutes. I have been testing this for about three weeks now and I like it. But you have to use this one, which looks like this, ladies. You wet your hair and you really do need to leave it on for five minutes. Not five minutes in my world world, the ADHD world, where 30 seconds equals five minutes, you need to set the timer, put it in your hair, shave your woolly mammoth legs, shave your armpits. The other day, I did not shave my armpits for six days. I was going to wax them because I got a new wax machine. Remember when I tripped over the other wax machine because I was waxing my bikini area because I thought I could do that myself? I had to get new floors in the bathroom, in the studio, because I messed up the bathroom so damn much with the wax flying everywhere. Anyway, set the timer shave your body rinse this out then you go in with the shampoo then you go in with the conditioner but wait there's more you towel dry your hair and use this this is a serum kind of locks everything in honestly I really like this stuff I think it's a 10 out of 10 it really has improved my hair ear candles luxury beeswax you get two of these for six dollars apparently these clean your ears says to put a paper plate on it, light the other end on fire. It also says you're supposed to have two people doing this. Just pretend this is another person. And the smoke is supposed to go down this beeswax tube in the ear and somehow push the earwax back out. You just let me know if that's about to fall, like the ash on the cigarette. You ever seen those ladies who'll just wait to ash it till it gets about this long? And then they do a little tick. Anyway, while we're doing this, we can talk about the eclipse. Oh wait, it says to keep your head like this. We should be laying down, but this is fine. This is comfortable. I did not watch the eclipse. Honestly, I forgot about it. And I told the guy at Little Caesars, I don't have any glasses. Oh, I have an extra pair of glasses. And then I started getting paranoid. Not that I don't trust the employees of Little Caesars. I trust them. But I started thinking about it. Who's making these glasses? Are these glasses from Timu? What if someone on purpose designed the glasses to not work and my eyes burn. And then I started getting, what's that word? Fear of missing out FOMO. I was getting FOMO of the eclipse because I looked outside and my neighbors not only are having a blog party, they're drinking, they've got glasses on, they're party. What the, are you howling at the moon? With glasses on, looking up. And then after it's over, about three minutes, they're crying. Everybody's crying. And I'm looking around. What the hell are you crying about? Then I turn on the news and other people are crying. Okay, I'm not sure about this. Hang on a second. I feel like we need to ash the ear candle. If you're gonna do that, cut that cloth off. That can be dangerous. 
Anyway, everyone on the news was like, it's so emotional. It's so beautiful. It's dark. All the animals are confused. Bitch, go outside in four hours. It'll be dark again. Maybe it's something in the stars, that astrology, where people just felt like crying. Uh, I don't recall if I was crying. I probably was, but probably for something totally different. And in all honesty, I'm jealous. I'm jealous that I missed out on it. I should have been prepared. I should have bought my damn glasses off eBay. I did see that one in 2016, and if we're being honest between you and I, I did do one of these. I lifted my glasses up and I looked at it. And maybe that's why I have to wear contacts. Maybe that's it. This honestly isn't doing much. It's blowing smoke in my ear, but <laughs> When you were little, if you had an ear infection, my aunt would just blow cigarette smoke in our ear. Works every time. Just blow cigarette smoke in the ear, you're not gonna have an ear infection anymore. Same thing like if you get a bee sting, put some chewing tobacco up there. I don't have patience to do both ears, so we're just gonna share. Very sanitary. I used to work at this hippie salon and a girl did these. I'm pretty sure she charged $60 to do these ear candles, so I'm feeling like I'm saving, I'm feeling like I'm saving some money right now. <sighs> That's enough, make a wish. That's making me nervous. Now, when we cut this open, apparently you're gonna see my earwax. Not to be confused with the wax from the beeswax candle. It's supposed to be my earwax. I don't believe that for a second. That is not mine. That's yours. That is apparently my earwax. Is it though? I feel like that's just the wax from the inside of the candle. I'm just not buying that, but if someone else knows, let me know. My ears feel the same. In fairness though, I have selective hearing. I only hear what I wanna hear. I'm gonna give that a zero. Walmart actually had some really nice clothes. Madden NYC. I don't know if that's Steve Madden or a knockoff brand of that. This is a bodycon dress. I like this. The material is really thick and it's not boxy. I'm actually gonna give this a nine for Walmart. I think this is great. I'm not really a dress kind of gal. I don't want to be that hyper aware about my mannerisms. What if I don't cross my legs? What if somebody sees my panties? When I do wear dresses though, I always wear shorts under them. Remember back in the day, people used to put their cell phones and do, what is it called, upskirting or whatever? They would look up your skirt and sell your pictures somewhere? I don't know. Sorry, the battery died again. Let's take a little break. I'm gonna shave my head off. Let's talk about some tea bags. Today we have a loose leaf. This is from the Spice and Tea Store in Savannah, Georgia. I just got back from Savannah. My kids had a bowling tournament. They didn't win or anything, but it was fun. Look at that. Some people take that real serious, that bowling, and honestly, I think the parents take it more seriously than more serious than the kids. Some of those parents were mad. I'm sorry, is your four-year-old playing for money? For cash money? I didn't see that on the sign-up sheet. What was I even talking about? I don't know, but when I got back from Savannah, my damn dog almost died, Dr. W. I had to take him to the hospital. He's okay now, but damn. That's probably why you're feeling overwhelmed because your dog almost died. This is warm bread pudding black tea. Cinnamon, brown sugar, lemon, and vanilla. It looks like this. Take the flipper out. This is my first time trying it. Oh, it has high caffeine. Oh my word, what time is it? I can't drink caffeine past noon. It tastes like an apple muffin. You ever had an apple muffin? Those are good. I'd give it an eight. It is a sweeter dessert tea. Now we're gonna move on to some outdoorsy stuff. Outdoorsy style things. They had all their gardening stuff out because it is gardening season. Turkey pet. Red nectar ready to use. This was $4. This is for your hummingbird feeder. Instead of doing it the old peasant way, boiling water with sugar, you can just buy this pre-made mix. <gasps> My hummingbird feeder has a hole in it. Honestly, if I wasn't making this video and this wasn't a tax write-off, I wouldn't have bought this. $4 is a lot. It is just water and sugar. I know some other people do other stuff. Corn syrup, molasses. Is it Cairo syrup? But if you're lazy or just really rich and can do something like this, just go for it, girl. Go for it. It is a neat idea, though, if they could get it down. How do you get this down to a dollar? This is a flower sheet roll mat. $10 for this guy. I don't know if you remember those as seen on TV. There used to be this thing a similar thing. I cannot wait for gardening season. It's coming. It's just been a little cold. Like today, it's a little cold and rainy. It's a monsoon out there. Oh wow, look how big it is. This is biodegradable paper. Inside here are all kinds of wildflower seeds. 10 out of 10. Fizz and feed plant food. These are $4 and you get 10 of them. One little tablet here inside the water. Oh, look at it go. I don't really know if that's a new concept or not. That makes it super easy. But remember, for organic gardening, there is no chemicals on the plants. I only fertilize my flowers. I try to do organic gardening, but it's really hard. If you've ever gotten into like really the balls deep of gardening, you really have to have, you really need goats because the slugs will eat the plants. But if you get a goat, the goat will eat the slug. Lastly, they have these. 
nibbles. These were $4. They are small pet shoes. You can use them for rabbits. Ferret. I want a ferret so bad. Do you have one? These are for Henry. Little hot dog, hamburger, fruity pebbles. Let me go get Henry. Look, buddy. Oh, he does not like that. I've been posting a lot of shorts about Henry if you haven't seen them. And I've been trying to find time to respond to the questions, but my life has been overwhelming right now. So we'll just answer them right now. At my partner's work, a truck had came in that had a squirrel nest in it and there were two squirrels, Henry and his brother. Someone else took his brother. What he's doing now is trying to clean my fingernails. So he'll try to clean under, nope, he'll try to clean under them. Nope, they're clean. I've washed them. There's a bunch of squirrels here that just kind of stay in this area because I feed them every day. He's free to roam wherever he wants. I've almost got his girlfriend, Henrietta. i am almost been able to touch her but I'm able to touch him because I guess he thinks I'm his mom, but I'm the only one in the family that can touch him. He attacks everybody else. See, he likes the fingernails. I don't know why they're like monkeys. They clean things. They're not clean enough for you. They're short as hell. Anytime he wants to come inside, he just taps on the door and all the animals we have are pretty friendly towards him. The cat, the dogs. See, now he's attacking. Now you're getting, I mean, you just blow on his face when he's about to bite. Anyway, he stays really close to home and you can just tell it's him. Once you start looking at him for a while, they have a certain look and female squirrels have this little, uh-uh, don't bite that. They have this like almost like a scar looking thing on their face. There he goes. So anyway, I'll continue to take care of him as long as he sticks around. But like I said, I feed all the squirrels anyway. So he's always got food available. He's just the only one that I can actually touch right now. Words of wisdom this week. Why are you doing that with your hands? On my way to the gym this morning, I was thinking about this a lot and I'm not really sure why. Maybe, just maybe, somebody needs to hear it. So what's on my mind today is forgiveness and what a powerful thing that can be for yourself. For yourself, girl, not for other people. This is a lifelong lesson and I'm still learning because I. I am top dog at holding a grudge. I have been mad at people for four years before <laughs> and that is immature. We have to forgive them. It frees up space in our body. It allows us to have more room to create, to love, to just be, be here now. And that took me a while to learn because I always thought when you're forgiving someone, whether it be verbally, you're letting them know I forgive you or mentally you're just making peace, cutting ties, however you wanna do it, a spiritual kind of way. I always thought that meant that that makes that behavior okay. You did something really wrong, I forgive you, that makes what you did okay. That's not right. It's okay to still disagree with the behavior, but forgive them so you can have room for internal peace. You don't have to make amends and go backwards and, oh, you cheated on me, so it's okay. I forgot, I don't know how y'all do that anyway. Your boyfriend cheated on you, okay, and you forgive him. I would suggest, finding someone else or being by yourself um, to avoid the repeat of behavior that may, well, that is likely to happen, but maybe not. I mean, people, but maybe not. I have been divorced before, so don't take any kind of relationship advice from me. You can forgive that behavior. Be smart about it. Know what to look for next time because people will show you who they are. They show you all the time. They don't have to tell you. They will literally show you. It's kind of like the government. They show us stuff all the time without saying. You just have to be looking for it. Anyway, forgiveness really is doing yourself more good than it is that other person. We don't even have to let the other person know that we forgive them. We can mentally forgive them. Still what you did was dirty, but I forgive you. And I always have to remember too, how I feel about someone in a negative way, someone probably also feels that way about me. So we're all connected in a weird way, which was one thing that was cool about the eclipse. Minus the few of us that stayed inside for lack of glasses, thought it was silly, whatever it was. I'm just not putting those damn Timu glasses on my eye. It was probably one of the rarest moments that we have collectively come together in a positive way to share an experience here on this floating rock. And that's pretty damn cool. Have a fantastic week. Don't forget to be kind, be kind to yourself, be kind to others and drive slow. And I will see you next time for something cool. Something cool. Is that the tears of Sasquatch? This is the hyperfixation of the week. You just wanna glue your hair to your scalp. The crown chakra. If you've been through a lot of shit, you just need to cut your hair off. Ketosis. He sucks it in. I don't like kids movies though, I really don't. A marble red in your ear.